Hi guys, welcome to another short video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. Um, in some of my other videos I've spoke to you about um, basically the joys of collecting and having pretty things around you um, every day for very low money. Well today I'm going to just give you a little glimpse of some of the pieces that I've got uh, at the house on display just to make my home look attractive and things I like to display. Um, some of you will like them, some of you won't, but hope you find it interesting. Okay guys, well this is my uh, entrance hall in my home, um, as you can see. Um, I have a, almost a shop display um, type display cabinet. Um, it's about three and a half meters in total, four meters in total. Um, so I'm going to just come across now and show you. We start off with my bottom shelf here. Obviously I have my Mantic here, my uh, hydroplane off a submarine, have some of the uh, Ahmed, uh, some Avengers, some Daleks, Popeye, E.T. and so on. Everything on there has wonderful memories for me. Uh, we come up then to just examples of Chinese porcelain and that that I like to have around me to handle daily to get used to the Chinese. We come up then obviously here we have the American Indian lady, I've done a video on her. I've done a video on this um, Victorian clock, bronze hunting clock. Um, we have a few other pieces in here then, some studio pottery, some Chinese and so forth. This one here is a luster jug. It's got a really nice luster and a really unusual fish design to it. Looks beautiful on my display. Um, I come across then, I have a couple of Chinese chargers, a Chinese 18th century Chinese bowl, no idea what these are, they're some type of bleeding bowl, they're uh, silver plated bowls covered in insects. So they're one for research, but I have a pair of those on either side. We come down then, um, I have a variety on this shelf here. You have the George Jones Majolka candlestick, I've done a video on that. Quite a few pieces of Chinese porcelain again, a uh, piece of Majolka at the back and then just a selection of collectible animals because I just like having the animals around me. We come down we have Johnny Five. I've done a video on Johnny Five off uh, the film Short Circuit. Absolutely love him. Over the other side we have an uh, antique teddy bear uh, with a humpback and the long arms uh, not 100% of his stife. Um, we have 18th century Worcester with the crescent mark and we have a piece of hand painted 19th century porcelain could be Derby, could be Welsh, no 100% haven't done the research yet we come down then I have the plates down the bottom that I believe are Nankaru I've done a video on those as well and then of course you have the 18th century Chinese plates at the back all the blue and white we come across we have here we have a beautiful piece of hand carved jade. Um, I will do a video on jade one day um, and some close ups of that. We have a selection of oriental pieces, um, Chinese pieces at the back, so red with teapots, Chinese again, a uh, little modern calligraphy Chinese teapot. Obviously, the uh, beautiful brass uh, rider and horse, I've done a video on that. So we come down, either end you'll see a pair of green opaline art deco vases, absolutely stunning pieces, um, real period art deco, French, uh, love the glass, love the under the right light, the beautiful. In the centre here we have a piece of blank de chin. After a bit of research unfortunately I found out this 20th century, not uh, 19th, but She's absolutely stunning. I have a selection of animals again, as you see. A bit of carved Chinese soapstone there. Um, a carved stone Buddha there. These figures, you see one, two and three, are Spanish. Uh, 19th century, about 1840. Um, and again, we have another Chinese oriental carving soapstone figure there. We come down, again quite a lot of blue and white Chinese porcelain, we have a bronze Buddha and we have a bronze Chinese dog of foe. 
we come down again Chinese porcelain again and again solid bronze fighting cock um, Victorian um, arts and crafts vase there you have a pair of Egyptian engraved brass vases and here you have a Chinese carved stone well, it's their version of a cow with a man on it um, but as you can see all in all looks absolutely stunning on display everything on there have come off car boot sales for nominal money um, and I just love to see the pieces when I come into my home this is just a fraction of the pieces I have um, hanging up on the wall there obviously is a nice bit of 1970s modern art so yeah it's surprising what you can do and the luck you can achieve um, off a of car boot sales anyway guys um, I hope you've enjoyed having a little look at um, some of the pieces I have on display when I come home um, I'll show you others in other videos um, but where I've been talking to you about why ha uh, the video I'm referring to mainly is how I got into the antiques and the lifestyle behind it and why I love doing what I do um, obviously these are not top-end antiques that you find in Sotheby's and Christie's and things but even on a budget you can still have beautiful things around you in your home so I hope you enjoyed the uh, video and until the next time I'll say goodbye and thank you feel free to subscribe uh, we're on Facebook Antiques Arena um, we have our own website antiquesarena.co.uk and you'll find us on eBay Antiques Arena Clearance Bye for now guys.